everyone's ready. Uh, my name is Karen Bennett, and I'm going to be talking about color. Nice to meet you. Oops, I went to All right. Impressionist painters like Claude Monet were masters of color interaction. Few artists these days can approach Monet in color interaction, but it can be learned. Web apps and games make learning fun and inspired me to start building my own JavaScript web apps to help artists learn about color. Along the way, I've been teaching myself JavaScript, copying and adapting code from examples and tutorials. The first one is a replacement for one built in Flash around the late 1990s. It simulates this situation of overlapping <coughs> films in some white, and yellow. It lets you formulate any color by overlapping swatches of primary colors in different levels of transparency. I'll demo it at the end so I don't get off track. For the first version of this, I tried to keep the technology really <coughs> generic using just CSS and jQuery UI for the swatches and sliders. <coughs> but the transparency didn't render properly in some browser versions, so I rewrote it using the paper.js graphics library for the swatches. <coughs> you can move the swatches around to make it more interesting, er, sorry, <laughs> um, to change which ones overlap and adjust their transparency with the sliders. <coughs> I'd like to extend this to make it more interesting and useful. The first few ideas are probably pretty easy. Matching a random color, choosing a color to be matched, and making the swatches resizable. My second app makes it easy to recreate fundamental color interaction exercises, like making one color look like two, making three colors look like two, and making four colors look like three. And again, I'll hold off on the demo until the end. And these are both on CodePen, so you can play with them yourselves. This one uses the Raphael JavaScript graphics library, and it shows it because it's compatible with a lot of browsers, even very old versions of Internet Explorer. It starts out by generating two random colors, and then interpolates between them to get the intermediate colors. You change the colors of the large and small rectangles on the top by choosing colors from the array on the bottom. I have ideas for major improvements on this one, too. Some are letting users choose their own base colors and making it more intuitive to select and apply the colors. Improved versions of these apps and others could help more artists develop their understanding of color interaction and lead to more beautiful paintings in the world. Before I go into the demos, I just want to let you know that um, I'm definitely a very beginner coder here, and I'd love to get some tips and advice from some of you smart people to approve these apps. And uh, I'll get into the demo. Here we go. Okay, so this is that first one with the transparency. And you can move the swatches around here. You can change their transparency level. And you can see here where I've got, um, that was the black one, but this is almost the same, that's the same gray. Because the um, cyan, magenta, and yellow are just like RGB. If you've got equal amounts of them, they will give you an actual gray. And then you can move them around, you can try and mix different colors, like maybe make that a little like People have been told red is a primary color, but it's not a primary color. Oop, one minute, okay. Um, that's good, because I've got, I can go into the other demo too. And let's see how it is. Here. Okay, so here, I've already got this set up illustrating that first color interaction exercise where we're making one color look like two. Central color here is the same color. It's number four here from this bottom array. But it looks a lot bluer and 
darker over here and lighter over here. And then, um, is that time? Yeah. Okay. We'll see you in the